we use burial sites with the home education group because they're really lovely places to spend time. They're lovely quiet places, they're often really accessible in the middle of communities and so they're really um, good to get people to come into. They're public spaces but people often feel like they need permission to come into these sites and so we're breaking down those barriers about why they can come into burial sites and also reminding the children of what appropriate behaviour in a burial site would be. I think, it benef I think this sort of session benefits us because as well as bringing the learning to life, it's very interactive and being outside, I think they concentrate a lot better. There's, there's something uh, much more relaxing about being in the fresh air. Every time you come, you learn something new about an insect um, or a flower. Uh, and it's reinforcing these things because there are so many of them out there. And the more you do it, the more they get a natural feel for it. Um, and when we take ourselves out for other walks, they can pick up a flower or look at an insect and you can see that it all goes in, so it's really worth it. I think what's really nice about coming to these sessions is everyone's always really friendly. We've been to a mixture of some now uh, where it's been solely aimed at children and th th some that haven't and my children and myself have always enjoyed both. Um, everyone's always been very friendly and you can always ask questions and take something from it. The best thing that I found out today was um, finding out that Daddy Longlegs is um, have another name. Can you remember what the name is? Um, no. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a crane fly. Today I've enjoyed looking at the box and seeing if they're insects or not. I've seen big spiders, little spiders, moths, big moths, little moths. Um, seen bugs that are small and big, grasshoppers, crickets. Um, the most I've seen is spiders. This is the third time we've come to a burial ground to do one of these sorts of um, activities. We've done it on wildflowers and insects and it's really interesting to come because the age of the site means that there's a lot of nature and the, the social history as well. They like looking at the gravestones and seeing the age of some of those and trying to sort of imagining the life for those people in, in the past. So I currently run sessions for home educated children. You could run them with youth groups or brownie groups or church groups even. Um, we have information on our website um, that will send you to our education pack and you can pick bits out of there for whatever you've got in your burial ground. We eat trees or insects, um, social history, there's exercises and different things you can do there, often with the printouts that you can just print out off the website for free um, and that can guide you down different activities in heritage and wildlife.